Hi everyone, I welcome you all in another session of Micro to Remain Micro series under which we are discussing the competency based medical education, microbiology and the topic of discussion is urinary tract infection under which we are proceeding towards a very important LAQ that is gonorrhea. My dear friends, this is our seventh video in UTI, right? So now let us proceed to gonorrhea. We are going to discuss gonorrhea under introduction, violent factor, clinical features, lab diagnosis and treatment portion. So the very important and the very first thing which we will be discussing is what is gonorrhea. So gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease. It is a sexually transmitted disease. Okay. And it is caused by two types of organisms. One is Neisseria gonorrhea and the non-gonococcal organisms okay so after Neisseria gonorrhea will be the main focus that is also called Neisseria gonorrhea is also called gonococcus okay now remember one very important thing that it is a kidney shaped bacteria it is what it is a kidney shaped bacteria let us now proceed to the next heading that is virulent factor. The main virulent factor is pili which are present and there are six pili like T1 to T6. There are six pili which are present and major virulence is by T1 and T2 pili. So first thing is pili. Second one is your IgA1 protease. Now this IgA1 protease is second and third is loss what is loss this is lipopolysaccharidism lps now it is not lps it is lipo oligosaccharide so first one is pili t1 to t6 in which t1 and t2 are major virulence next is iga1 protease and third one is los lipo oligosaccharide now t1 to t6 pili are responsible for attachment as well as they are going to prevent the phagocytosis by immune system whereas IgA1 protease is only for colonization and attachment other than that there is one more thing that is porins so porins are present on like for example this is gonococcus here you will present some porins that allows or that facilitates the inward and outward movement of substances okay so virulent factors are four pili t1 to t6 and t1 t2 major los iga1 protease and in the end porins attachment and then it also prevents phagocytosis iga1 only this thing colonization and then lipo oligosaccharides and then porins this is about the second heading that is virulent factor what are the clinical features associated with gonococcus now gonococcus in males is responsible for causing urethritis responsible for causing dysuria responsible for causing discharge strictures and water can perineum now if i make like from this is the kidney and from kidney this is the ureth this is the ureter and that is going to open into the bladder and from bladder arises the urethra so what it is causing it is causing strictures it is causing what it is causing strictures it is causing inflammation of urethra that is urethritis that is why the discharge is going to come there will be discharge which will be coming there will be dysuria what is dysuria this is painful urination okay so urethritis strictures dysuria discharge and one very important thing that there is water can perineum that means from your perineum part there will be multiple access of discharge there will be what there will be multiple actions um, um, uh, i mean multiple access of discharge this is called water can perineum these were the features in male in female female are going to show the pelvic inflammatory disease remember the most common cause of pelvic inflammatory disease is chlamydia and second most common is gonorrhea then it is going to cause septic arthritis rashes vaginal discharge and fitzhub curtis syndrome 
now this fits a curtis syndrome we have already discussed okay that is a perihepatitis so very easy you know in in uh, the female system right in female system uh, vagina is there so it is causing vaginal discharge or endocervitis so the swab is actually taken from here okay specimen is collected from here so number one is vaginal discharge okay and number two will be rashes over there number two is what number two is rashes okay and you know yahan se it can accumulate inside the joints so it can cause number three thing what is number three this is arthritis septic arthritis it can cause okay and this is a pelvic area so this is pelvic inflammatory disease and one more that is associated with liver is fitz huck curtis syndrome so if i repeat in the pelvis area pelvic inflammatory disease vagina vaginal discharge is there rashes can be there septic arthritis can be there and there can be fitz huck curtis syndrome the swab is taken from the vagina that is endocervitis this is about the clinical features in male female and if you talk for the neonates it is responsible for causing ophthalmia neonatorum that is a purulent conjunctivitis that means from the eyes of the baby you are going to see what you are going to see the purulent discharge okay here yeah, there will be what there will be purulent discharge from the eyes of the baby okay so this was about the clinical features after clinical features let us focus on now to the lab diagnosis so in the lab diagnosis the specimen as i have told you in the male there will be urethral discharge in the female there will be endocervical swab okay and how you are going to take the swab you are going to use uh, rayon swabs or dacron swabs because cotton swabs if you will use then actually this is gonococcus killers they are going to kill gonococcus okay and if there is a chronic case remember in the chronic cases because the secretions is less then you are going to give a prostatic massage in male patients so as the secretions get increase so specimen may male specimen is discharge female is endocervitis then runion or dacron you are using you are not using cotton then more important is that there is what there is uh, chronic cases mein prostatic massage with stain you are going to use as i have told you these are gram positive cocci remember gram positive cocci and that's to these are kidney shape okay kidney shape and capsule what about the capsule in the yeah so they do not have capsule they lack capsule what about the culture so there are three cultures modified thayer martin media new york city agar and muller hinton agar so modified thayer martin media new york city agar and uh, muller hinton agar main kaise yaad rakhta hu muller naam ka banda thayer pe baith kar ke new york gaya hai okay muller hinton thayer martin new york city media these are the culture media and the transport media is towards media transport media is towards media remember biochemically oxidase positive catalase positive okay so this was about the lab diagnosis means swab or the specimen i have told you then stain i have told you gram positive cocci kidney shape and absent capsule culture um, thayer martin new new york city media and muller hinton then uh, transport by towards media biochemically catalase positive oxidase positive okay so this was all about your nizeria gonorrhea thank you for watching